Greetings all. Uh, this video is going to show you how to use an if field in Microsoft Word so that you can get certain text to appear if one thing is true and different text to appear if that thing is not true. To add to the excitement, or perhaps not excitement for some of you <laughs> who may be clicking off right now, um, I'm going to embed a field inside my if field because what I want to do is say if it's morning time, say a certain sentence, if it's afternoon, say another sentence. Um, so I need to also know what the time is. So I'm just going to show you how to do this without going into too much detail. Um, if somebody wants more detail, just send me your question and I'll provide more detail. But basically, let's look at how to do an if field first. So here I am in Word and I want to insert a field. So under insert, hello, you want to find quick parts over to the right and field. And then you're just going to go down to if, it's an if field. Now right here they're showing us how to set an if field up. And what I want to know is if uh, the current time equals am, I want to say one thing, otherwise I want to say something different. Okay, so if you look down here, if goes there, expression one, this current time is not telling the computer anything. I just typed that there as a little placeholder. I need to replace that with something that tells the computer what the current time is, but I can't do that while I'm in here. So just to illustrate, all this is is a little placeholder. I'll just put four X's here. So if something is AM, and I'm going to put this in quotes, um, I like to put quotes around uh, the stuff just in case, even though it's probably not really necessary here. But anyhow, too much detail, too much detail, sorry. Anyhow, if this equals AM, equals the operator, expression two is AM, then the true text is in these quotes, it is still morning, period. The false text would be this part here. I don't want to do, well, I'll leave preserve formatting during updates on just to show you what it is. Um, I'm going to say OK, and there it is. So if you look at my computer, oh, well, we haven't finished setting it up yet. So right now, if I press Alt F9 on the keyboard, Alt F9, I can see the inside of the field. If I press Alt F9 again, I see what it's going to say in my document. So Alt F9 toggles you between showing the code and showing the result. Now, if I go to show the code, I can see that um, XXXX is not equal to AM. And that is why it is saying it is afternoon, get to work, because that's the second set of text which shows up when it's false. So I want to replace this with the time. And for that, I'm going to say insert field again. So insert quick parts field. And they don't actually have a time. Oh, they do have a time field. Um, so I could use that, or I could use the date field, either one. I'll just stick with the time field. It's basically the same. It shows date and time. Anyhow, I digress, sorry. Um, I want to say if AM or PM. What we're looking at here when we click on this field is different ways of formatting it. And what this says up here is what tells the computer how to show it. So I just need to find any of these that has AM or PM in it and look up here and I can see now lowercase h is for the four colon, mm is for the minutes, and then am slash pm is for am or pm. So I can get rid of that other stuff. I just want to know am or pm. And then I don't want this preserved formatting during updates. And I'm going to turn that off. And I'll show you what that is. I forgot um, when I get in here. Say OK. And it puts that field right there. And let me grab this. Oops. 
I'm just gonna copy this. And paste it down here. So what we have here is just the field. So we can see what time the computer says it is, like what this gives us. Okay, let's talk about that um, really quickly where I said I don't want the preserve formatting. What that does is it puts this text in. I remember I did use it for the first one, this uh, backslash asterisk merge format. That means that if you update the field, <coughs> it will keep whatever format it had, like bold, underlined, etc. Um, sometimes it makes it kind of, sometimes that's good, sometimes that's not so good. Uh, so I like to take it out usually. Um, and for here, the time, I just wanted the AM or PM. I don't need any fancy formatting. Okay, I'm going to press Alt F9 on my keyboard to get back to seeing the results. Now you can see it thinks it's PM. And if you look at my clock, it is indeed. And it's giving me this. What if I were to change that? So I'm going to go in here and adjust my date and time. And I'm just going to tell it... Um, that is actually morning. I know you can't see everything on the screen because it's too big, but you get the idea. Okay, now nothing happened. This is no cause for alarm. In Microsoft Word, these are fields, and fields do not just update automatically. You have to tell them to update. Now you can tell them to update by right-clicking them and saying update, which I'm not gonna do right now, by selecting them, and pressing F9 on the keyboard will also update, which I'm not going to do right now. Or if your settings are set to the default, they will update whenever you print. And so let me show you the default really quick. File, Options, Display. See down here where under Printing Options it says Update Fields Before Printing. That, I believe, should be checked unless someone has unchecked it on your computer. And that means that as soon as you go to print a document, Word automatically updates the field. So, so you can see just in my print preview, I haven't even printed it, but in my print preview, it switched to AM because it thinks it's AM because I told it it was. Um, now, some of you are probably saying, oh, that's why when I messed with my table of contents or my table of authorities, every time I printed the document, it kept going back. Well, if you're um, wanting to mess with your table of contents and table of authorities fields, um, you're going to have a problem. Anyhow, <laughs> what I want to say is you just need to learn how to do it properly and then you won't have that nightmare. That's what I meant to say. But I meant to say it in a nicer way than that. Um, I could help you. That's what I'm trying to say. But it has nothing to do with this. So um, there it is. That's how you could do an if field. And I'll switch my time back to what it really is. If I can remember how. I'm right clicking. Adjust date and time. Let's just make it do it automatically. Hasn't changed, but if I select it and then press F9 on the keyboard, it will update. It should update. There we go. It was ignoring my keyboard for some reason, but we won't investigate that right now. Um, Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention, well, as long as we're talking about date fields, there are two ways you can do the date field. So if I go insert, quick parts, and by the way, if you are do, using a lot of fields or anything, anything on this ribbon, a really nice thing to do instead of clicking, clicking, clicking to get to the control you want is once you get to it one time, right click and say add to quick access toolbar and then it will just always be there. So I usually go this way to insert a field, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, the way it probably would be on your computer, but I'm getting lazy. I'm gonna click here now. Uh, we looked at the date, well, the date field I started to look at, and then I looked at the time field, which are basically the same thing. Um, but there's also a create date field. And the difference here, what's cool about create date is it will give you the date and time that the document was created. So 
if you have a template, let's say for a letter, and you want the current date to show up every time you say new letter, you can use the create date field because that'll be the date the moment you created the letter as opposed to saying date and then every time you print it updates to the current date. See, understand the difference? So create date gives you when the document is created. So I just wanted to mention that to people um, because a lot of people aren't aware of that and they get frustrated because they want an automatic date field but then they don't want it to keep updating on them. And so that causes a little bit of a dilemma. And so you can see here, I inserted the create date to be formatted like this. And this document I actually created at 4.03 PM. I started it, even though it's now 4.15, which means I've been talking way too long. So I will let you go now. Thank you very much. And then just remember Alt F9 toggles you. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one more thing, if you're still here. <laughs> If you're still here and you're one of those people that keeps wanting to edit their table of contents and table of authorities or things because they keep updating on them and they've been messing around with them, you can take a field and turn it into text. So you can grab your table of contents, your table of authority, and on the keyboard, I don't know how to do this without the keyboard, um, on the keyboard you need to press Control Shift. F9. And what that does, see how this turns gray when I click it? Control Shift F9 turns it into text. Now it's not a field, it's just text. So now if I print, nothing's going to update. Um, and then this one's a field, so when I click it, it turns gray. This one's not a field anymore, so when I click it, it does not turn colors. And there you have it. Thank you. And good day.